What's up guys? It's Thursday and uh, I have no idea what to talk about. So I'm kind of just going to talk about random stuff. And the first thing that I want to talk about is L.A. Noir. Um, my dad bought it, and in this, in a video that I'm going to later upload, which is a God of War 3 Let's Play video, I, I answer a phone call, and, it, and my mom's asking me, like, uh, what was the game called? Because that, because I told my dad that this game that he probably would like, L.A. Noir, is like a detective game, and he kind of likes the, like, slower paced games where you don't have to just, like, like, really, really... Like, button inputs are kind of his flaw, uh, weak point. Like, his his hands are kind of big for the controller, so... So, like, doing multiple things at once it isn't good. So, I don't know, games like that where, you know, you just walk around, press X, pick stuff up, and it's still, like, a good game would be good, so... Yeah, L.A. Noir is really good. I'm on the Homicide Desk... And I just finished the third case, um, like a couple hours ago. It was pretty easy. It's probably the easiest homicide case so far. Um, the second homicide case, I totally, like, that was the worst case I ever did. I did really bad on that. Um, but L.A. Noir is a really good game. If you hear anybody call it L.A. Snort, just punch him in the face because the game isn't boring. It's exciting, and you don't need to be shooting people twenty four seven. Like the game using the clues and leading you on to to wonder what what happened, like who killed her, who did this. You know, it makes it exciting. It's not boring, and there are shootouts in the game. There are chase sequences. There are car chases and stuff like that. And, uh, it's, like, a really good game. And throughout the whole thing, you, like, after you finish a case, most of the time, I think it happens every time, but most of the time, um, you'll have a flashback of, like, Cole flashing back to, like, um, the war. Like, because he was in World War Two, And, uh, so that, it's like, there's that story, there's the present time story, which takes place, like, the beginning of the story takes place of in 46, but... Where, when you get further on, it's actually in, uh, 1947. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah, I I haven't even beaten the game, and I bumped Ellie Noir all the way up to the third spot on my, um, top ten. Cause if you don't know, I have, like, a list on my iPod. You know how you can take notes? And I just put one to ten, and then I'll, like, switch things around and stuff. So, where it stands... Number one is the Uncharted series. I love Uncharted. Um, number two and number three, like, it's a tie. They're both L.A. Noir and Heavy Rain. I can't decide which one's better, so they're both, like, two and three. I put two slash three for both of them, so they're not two, they're not three, they're just, like, I can't decide. And me and my friend were talking about it, and they're very different games, but they're similar, if that makes sense. Um, like, Heavy Rain is kind of like a movie that you play and you can change the outcome of it, where L.A. Noir is a game where you really need to just think and, um, like, like, put things together, like, okay, he was here, not there, the person said that he was here, so he can't have been there. He told me he was there, but no, he can't. Like, you, you have to put stuff together and... They both give you like the same feeling generally of like that, like whoa, that was that was cool. Like, like I can like, oh, it's so hard to explain. Like Heavy Rain is a game where you just like beat it and you're just like, like, like you feel how the characters are feeling, and Ellie Noir like, like they helped with that by by doing the um like full 360 cameras. If you didn't know, Ellie Noir has like cameras around the voice actors completely and they would capture the character's movements as the person talked. So when you're seeing the character in L.A. Noir say something, it's like exactly what the person looked like when they said it. Which helps kinda. It helps to uh, really I don't know, just it 
looks really cool. Like, like it, it does look really good. And, like, people joke about it, like, look at my face, you know? Like, I have seen people do that, like, running around, and I'm like, more like, oh, I have the best facial features in the world. Yeah, look at me. Like, yeah, it's kind of funny to make fun of, but, but it, it really looks good. Like, people, people will say that it's not a big improvement. It, uh, it looks really good. Like, just imagine my face right now as I'm saying this with slightly different graphics. Like, like not realistic. Like, I would have slapped myself in the face and you would see, like, ripples and stuff like that. But, but like, picture me as I'm saying this to you. And in-game, like, everything would be the same. Like, my tongue, if I, I'm going to say, like, L, my, like, my tongue would be touching the roof of my mouth. And it's really detailed. And I, it's weird when people, like analyze that little detail like but it really does look good so all in all la noir looks and is really good and um people say the ending is like weird i'm not there i'm about halfway through the game i i think the first desk like it's not really a desk but your first job is just being a patrolman second uh desk or you know the first desk technically is traffic Second is homicide, third is arson, and then, well, I don't know, the third and fourth are arson and vice, but I don't know which one comes first. And arson and vice and traffic and homicide, they're all different things. I'm not sure what they really mean. I know homicide is like murders, arson is like fires, and I don't know what vice and traffic is. But, yeah, I'm on homicide, the fourth... Um, case of homicide. I heard that there's six. My friend told me. And uh, let me just check how long I've been talking about this. Seven minutes and ten seconds. <coughs> I'm good at rambling, aren't I? I, I said I was going to talk with tongues around random stuff, but uh, it's basically just been about Alain Noir. I'm really enjoying it. Like, you could think the whole case that it's going to be this one dude, like, Every clue, it leads up to this one guy. It's definitely, definitely him. And then you could go to, like, a fruit market. That's kind of a spoiler, but... For, for the case I just did, but... And then you, you talk to this guy, and you're like, Oh, I know it's that other guy. And then it could just turn out to be someone totally different. And you're just, like... It's like a twist, like that. I only ignore it. It's really good. I'll probably do a review on it. Next week, I should probably have beaten it by then. But... If I haven't, then it'll be the week after that. And, uh, yeah, the reason I would do a review on it, and I've never done a review before, is because you can't actually put videos of Eleanor up. Like, you can, but not a Let's Play of it. Like, one dude, well, I know three people that are doing it. Ghost Robo, if you ever heard of him, I Justine, and Do uh, Toby Games, or Tobuscus. Um, they're, they're all doing it. I don't know if anybody else is doing it. Uh, oh, excuse me. I know another dude who's doing all of the dispatch missions, would, would, which would be okay because it's like a side mission, but Rockstar doesn't want you posting videos of the, of the story to spoil it. So I wouldn't be able to do that. And it, it really, like, it should make you want to buy the game if the makers of it are going through that much trouble to keep it off of YouTube for the most part, then it should influence you to just think about it and, uh, buy it. It's not, it's not for everybody. I made a video, kind of a video about it, uh, last week. If, if you're into, like, Call of Duty, period, don't buy it. You're not gonna like it. Um, yeah. If you, if you even, like, slightly, like, if you play Call of Duty every day, no, L.A. Noir is not for you. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. You know, let's make this, like, a 15-minute, just me talking to you. What the frick? That was two minutes? Really? Well, um, alright, I'm gonna talk to you for another five minutes about karate. And if you don't know, I probably said that three times already, and if you don't know, uh, I actually am almost a black belt. Um, this is my current belt, right here. This 
is a black with a red stripe. And after this belt, I'm going to get my black belt. And, yeah. So, it's just pretty exciting knowing that in, like, a year or so, I'll be a black belt. Like, like people, you know, I say, I go to karate, and everyone makes fun of it. Not makes fun of it, but they joke about it. Like, they know... People that don't go to karate don't think... They think that if you go to karate, you're worse than if you don't. Does that make any logical sense to me? No. If you don't train fighting, you're better than a person that's been training it for like five and a half years. No. The people in my school, I do not fight. I don't fight. I'm, I'm not a person that would do that. Um, like, fighting is just dumb in general. Like, really? Like, you're just gonna punch each other or kick each other? For no point? Like, what do you get out of that? Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 I win. Yeah, now I'm gonna get suspended. It's like, really? You... Like, I'm just, like, wordless, speechless. Like, what? And the people that go to, like, my, go to my school, they all f hit like this, you know? They they make a fist like this or like this, and then they they hit like this. No, you don't do that. No. Yes. Okay, that's how you do it. And they think they're good, like after they do it. And then there are the people that that just do this, you know, like, like, oh, yeah, and they just grab each other, like. And then they're on the floor, and they're like, Ugh, and you can't, like, hugging each other on the floor, does that really accomplish anything? Like, very different parts of my video. Ali Noir, yeah, it's a good game. And then, <laughs> uh, let's see how much time. Twelve minutes. <coughs> I guess I, I could let you guys go. Yeah, that lady inside, she's still sitting in front of me. It's getting on my nerves. Like, I'm just trying to sit there and relax, you know. I just, I either just went to gym or I woke up, like, a couple hours ago. Now, I have, I have science fifth period. And it's at, like, around 10 or 11. Uh, and it's just like, you know, I just sit down and I just want to, like, watch the board, because, like, now I'm getting into Regents soon, and, uh, and, like, we're reviewing, so I don't really have to do anything most of the time, so I just want to sit and look at the board, but no, this giant lady is in front of me, so I have to, like, scoot over, I don't know why I'm calling her a lady, she's very large, I think that's why I'm doing it. I, I, I always mention her in every one of my videos, and it's not right. It's not, it's not funny. People think they're funny when they, like, make fun of, of, like, people that are just misfortunate to be, like, large or, or short or skinny. No, not skinny. Look at these muscles. <laughs> oh, what, what time is it? One minute. Countdown. Uh, but it's not funny to make fun of people. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know if they had, like, a bad month or, or something bad happened to them. So they just pigged out or they just, like, gave up and they didn't work out or something. So they're, like, scrawny and, or they're gaining weight. It's just not good. This is, like, the 15th topic of the video. But don't make fun of people that are ugly or fat or skinny because you don't know what they've been through and it's not good to stereotype see you guys later peace